All right, guys, it's New York City. I'm here on the campus of NYU. This is the Brown Building, uh, but it always hasn't been the Brown Building. This building was built in 1901, and in 1911, it was being used as a factory to uh, make some garments, some clothing called shirtwaist. So this is the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. It was owned by two guys named Blank and Harris, and on the day of the fire, the 8th, 9th, and 10th stories caught on fire. 146 people died, 123 women and 23 men. The doors were locked. They couldn't get out. The owners locked the doors because they didn't want people taking things out, taking breaks, going out for smokes, things like that. And they ended up getting sued. And when they got sued, uh, they went to court and the attorneys for the two owners, Blank and Harris, they argued that the stories that the women were telling were so were memorized that they had been coached on what to say, and so they ended up winning the case. Uh, they took they they sued them in civil court, and they ended up losing that one. So each of the victims' families got seventy five dollars. However, their insurance company paid them sixty thousand dollars, so they ended up gaining about twenty thousand dollars from uh, this fire. And by the way, the outside of the building did not get damaged very much. As a result of this, the New York State Legislature passed some laws, and so that's when we started having some of the labor reforms, safety and labor reforms that you find in buildings today. A lot of those started because of the devastating fire that happened here March 25th, 1911. It was a Saturday at about 4.40 p.m. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you soon. Take care.